Hello everyone, I'm Greatlook, thank you for joining me, and welcome back to episode 214 of Factorio with Angels and Buffs mods, where do we, we are doing a bunch of farming stuff, and we want to be making an outpost with it now. We are just picking up everything we need beforehand. Uh, and I'm just guessing how many seed extractors we need, I guess. Unless we want to go into detail with that. And we want to be doing this. If we move it up. Will it adjust? Nope. I need another 80 up here, but still, it's only 11 seed extractors for this. How about for these? Another 10, so not really a lot. Okay, good to know. And also that told us that we can actually just farm much red potatoes to get more of them. We don't have to rely on the seeds from swamp gardens. So good to know. We have 20 already. Let's just grab a couple more, I guess. 41 being a little bit more than a couple. Let's start with 40. A bunch of farms. These are really the ones we need a lot of. We need some water treatment plants as well for the mud water. Probably more than this. Let's start there, I guess. Still need more farms. As you can see, I at least need 6,000 if I wanted 100 extra gardens per second. That's not what I want, but we still need quite a bit. Even if it's, we just want one swarm garden per second, that's still 60 for this. Another 5, another 4. Well, I guess we have more than that already, but yeah. We want to be able to scale it up more. What else? I really shouldn't close this. This should tell me everything I need. We need bioprocessors. I might have already put those in the train. Bioprocessors, yes, we could use some more though. And some of these. And some composters. We have 19. How come this has not changed to this, even though I've told it to always use that? Hmm. We could also consider that we don't want to put up a lot of these because we can get some specialized machines that are twice as fast. That's worth considering at least. So we can get a swamp farm that is twice as fast for the swamp seeds. Hmm. It requires this though, so a bunch of plant life sample. Let's just go with what we have. And then we think it as we go. Hopefully it won't be too bad. I think these farms and the specialized farms are the same size, so it should just be a easy replace.
let's grab all of this and actually tear it down. And then we'll just go down and grab all of our seats. Produce, I guess. We can live without that. So where do we want to build this? We have a lot of space over here, so let's go in that direction. Yeah, let's do that. We just don't want to get too close to this, but... That's no real problem. this a bit. This is really in the way. This is probably fine. I don't think we would ever need more staggers than can be in this area. And I'm out of three. Let's bring our train. Well, I could really clean out this a bit. We don't need this ever anymore. I don't think. Staying with this. And everything else is fine, okay. Rail. Good. So what are we going to bring in here? I'm not sure we need to bring in any solids, but we need urea gas. And then everything else should be self-sustained, I think. So we don't need one of those, we need one of these. And then I guess we just need the output. And some fuel, obviously, but that's okay. should really start using tier 4 tanks instead of this, but I'm gonna ignore that for now. Let's bring some power. Oops. Okay, is that everything? We need a lot more output stations, of course. At least I think so, but that's okay. From here we can make alienated fertilizer, we can make gardens, we can make plant life samples for science and other stuff. And we can make nutrient pulp for fish farming which is necessary. Is that the main out a purpose of this base? Plant life sample in the short run to make science and 
nutrient pulp. For some reason that disappoints me a bit. the alien goo for anything else for the raw for the meat we could export some more alien goo then I guess because this was needed for big bite of breeding which is needed for the crystals raw crystals or whatever Yeah, at least for some of the recipes. Well, let's just get it going and then we can figure out what we need to export later, I guess. We just need to keep in mind that we actually need to bring down some pipes with different stuff. Especially the nutrient pulp. Maybe this. So maybe we should just have some pipes or a small fluid bus, bus going up and down in the middle here. Then we can also bring urea gas along with that. And then we can build on both sides. Sounds good. So what shall we begin with? Let's put some pipes down just to have an idea about this. We need to be able to bring the fluids from side to side down here for inputting and outputting from and to trains. Not sure how many different pipes we need. So one for this, one for the new nutrient pulp, one for urea. Potentially one or two more. Could potentially do fermentation base. We can't get urea gas out of that somehow, right? Not in this direction, at least. Okay. We might need it for the puffer farming, though, so let's just keep that in mind. More pipe. Good. And then these just keep going up. Now, do we need to do any water processing here? Oh, well, of course we need to do all this stuff with mud. And we need... Hmm. I seem to remember that we needed light mud water, heavy mud water, light mud, or thin mud water even. So yeah, we need to process a lot of viscous mud water. But since we have 
the water fill. We can just put some viscous mud water down wherever we need it. Let's produce some water fill. Two hundred water per second. So we dig or we pump water up from the ground and then we put it back onto the ground. Like that. The nice thing about this water fill is that I can just. No, I can't. Never mind. If we had brick around here, I know you could. Yeah. Well, remove it again. Now we need stone to do that or, or landfill. Oh, I guess I tested in a brick area. So I thought I could just control set this. But yeah, that removes all of this, that's fine. We have some water here now that I'm not able to get rid of for now. And I guess this is quite a lot more than we need actually. Lawrence will produce for a while. Good. Yeah, so we can just put this down, put down the C block pump wherever we need. Where are C flop pumps? Right here. And that doesn't require a lot of space, that's nice. Let's just do a small test. We put down one tile of water. We cannot fit this. Two tiles? Nope. Three tiles wide, one tall. Nope. Let's just go one wider, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we could fit in this in two locations. So this needs two water around it, I think. So we need to go five wide, is my guess. Maybe two tall, yeah. I didn't test for all of that, but... And then we can actually fit in two. Can you just landfill around this again? To run between them? I don't know. Doesn't really matter. But now we have the possibility. All of that, of course, needs to go into water, washing plants, and then we put it into farms. Exactly where and how we're going to do that, we still need to figure out. Do we want to put, to put the different mud waters on the fluid bus? Or is that just a waste? Hmm. It's gonna be hard to actually keep the pipe pressure high enough for it to make any sense. 
that's right. I don't think we want that. Mm. Nah. So where do we want to start? I ask once more. I think we want to do a lot of the seeding stuff and then just getting yeah, some a lot of seeds and a lot of produce. Some of the produce we then use for compost. Other we use for the beans and stuff for the nutrient pulp. How about... now? Nah, we can't really assign a full side to anything, I don't think. Maybe we should just start and see where it takes us. Do we want to leave a bit of space for extra pipes? Sure. How long can a normal pipe reach from here, for example? There. And let's do that. All this. And let's just put the chests down below, because then they're closer to the robots. And then we do seed stuff. Again, I'm really unsure if I should just focus on one of them to get started. I don't think so. Let's do all of them. Let's remove that again and just copy this quite a lot of times. We're gonna... you need a lot of Mosredo seed stuff, but that's okay. We are gonna be getting rid of a few more swamp, seed, swamp seeds, I think. Swamp gardens, sorry. To get the Neraflex, especially maybe even Mosred Tato. I don't remember if we have any of those. We have mustard potatoes at least. Yeah, okay. This I think we can just use directly for nutrient pulp. Just put in some of those and then take out all of this. Dang it, I misclicked. Eh, I can't figure out what I need. Oh well. We don't need puffer seeds. Puffer eggs, sorry. Don't need desert right now. Oh, we don't need gardens in general right now, I think. Don't need trees. some power up. Do we want to use 
substations instead of power poles. think we need actually we need to input and output a lot of stuff here it's 5.5 output every half second they only have a cropping speed of 0.75 but we should of course speak this up or something and then we probably should plan for that so let's also just optimize all of this a little bit Like this. Oops. And then figure out if we want substations or not. Do something like this. Maybe just leave a space in there so we don't change how the beacons would be compared to these. And then build again all the way up to there. So we could keep doing that. Seems pretty nice. Let's do that. Which means we need to power this. focus on that yet. Let me put some robots in the system. And I guess get rid of these then. Wait, shouldn't the robots take them from me and bring them in? Oh, it's not the seeds, of course. I'm stupid. To make the seeds, we need these. This is not what we need. Same with this, same with these. Okay. But this is the first part of the processing. I think from here on we just need more mush potatoes, right? Actually, maybe we need to move the mush potatoes in closer. We have most potatoes. We can't use that to actually make 
dominant mashed potato seeds. Is that correct? So I got these from a swamp garden rat, but I can't use them to produce more. Uh, is that just because we need to sacrifice more gardens? Yeah, and then we actually get the seeds. And then we farm them, and then we get the dormant seeds. Okay. So I probably need to waste a couple of gardens for this. Yes. What are the chances here? Five percent chance to get a much red potato seed. Okay, we actually need a lot of gardens. Then. Can we get garden production going without much red potatoes? We could if we wanted to do a lot of the LGA stuff. I guess you're supposed to get it going with that. But I really would like to just log it out and get some. We can just run around looking for more farms, I guess. Oh, sorry, gardens. We have some more over here. It should be one in every plenty garden we we mess up that we get a mushroom mush potato seed. So our chances should be good for this. If it doesn't happen though, it's gonna be annoying. But I think we need to do it. Let's go hunt down some more gardens then. Do we just get one garden? Yeah, it seems like it. Anyone else? Yeah, we did mark more up here. Good. What do we have in here? Steel. Oh, I'm gonna ignore those for now. We mark anything else? Let's not mark that for deletion before I'm there. Because then it would just be taken by robots, I think. But we really should be collecting everything else as well, but. Maybe not swamp trees. I don't care too much about those. It's just for more wood generation. Mm. 
a little bit of green over there. We actually have construction robots that will take care of this. Doesn't look like it. No, there's no construction robots, okay. I do have construction robots here though, so we need to actually request this stuff. Okay, it will notify us because well, we have nowhere to put it. Let's just put in these gardens. Maybe we need to actually start up some more of these. should go grab the rest but unfortunately that's all we have time for in this episode so thank you all for joining me and i'll see you next time bye